So now that you have your Amazon seller account created and you have bought your first batch of inventory for Amazon FBA, well now it's time to ship it off to an Amazon FBA warehouse so you can start making some sales. Today I'm gonna show you guys the exact step-by-step -step process on how you package and prep that inventory so you can send it to FBA warehouse properly. And to help you guys understand everything a lot better, I'm gonna be using two sample products in this video that I'm selling on my Amazon account currently. There's essentially only three parts to this. The first one is to prepare and pack your shipment. The second one is to create a shipping plan for yourself or a work order in this case. And the final step is to schedule a pickup so that a UPS truck can come and pick up your inventory. So let's get started. So first I'm gonna begin with this product. This is a makeup product, very, very popular to sell on Amazon FBA, by the way. So if you guys are starting, make sure you focus your attention on makeup and small products like this. So after you have added all the products that you want um, to sell on your store, you're gonna then go to your Amazon seller account. What you do is you go to inventory, you click shipments, click on shipments, and you're gonna click send to Amazon. When you get here, you're gonna find the product that you are selling. In this case, the product is right here. For this video, I'm, I only have 10, so I'm gonna put 10 units here. Click ready to pack. For this video, I told you guys I'll be doing two products. So this product is a second product that I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do. As you can see, um, it's already added here. And again, this product, I'm also sending 10 units of this. So I'm gonna click, click ready to pack. Now, after everything is ready to pack, I'm gonna print the SKU labels. If you guys don't know what it is, basically for Amazon, um, Amazon is gonna require you to print Amazon label or, or the, the product is gonna have a manufacturer barcode. If the product does not have a manufacturer barcode, uh, for example, this product, Amazon needed me to print a Amazon SKU label. For some products, they're gonna have a little um, barcode. I don't know if you guys can see, it's like a UPC um, little barcode that's imprinted on the inventory already. So that's basically that product is already registered with an Amazon system. So it's not required to put an Amazon barcode. You can always go back into the account and um, instead of using manufacturer barcode, print an Amazon barcode instead. But I always recommend if they offer to use manufacturer barcodes, it's a lot easier because you don't have to label them. You just ship them off and Amazon receives it. So now I'm gonna be printing the SKU labels for these makeup sponges that I'm gonna be sending in. We use thermal printers to print out uh, SKU labels and as well as our shipping labels. It's just a lot cheaper in the long run. If you're running a big FBA business, it's good to invest into this because you're gonna see that these SKU labels come out uh, very, very fast. The SKU labels that we're using are uh, 50 millimeter by 25 millimeter. This is what they look like. So depending on what, type, what, what the dimension of SKU labels you're using, you have to input it into the Amazon um, portal so that they can configure with the dimensions of how, how, how they're gonna print that label out for you. For this video, I'm using 50 by 25 millimeter. If you guys want this exact one or, or the exact printer that I'm using in this video, I'll leave a link down in the description. So click print all, and you're gonna get a PDF of the different SKU labels. I'm gonna print them. Um, make sure that when you're printing this, it's configured correctly. It took me some time to figure it out, but every printer is gonna be a little different. So make sure you guys do it properly. And uh, when, when I press print, you're gonna see the SKU label start coming out. Okay, 10 SKU labels, as you can see, is very, very fast. And that's gonna be for the sponges, just because um, this item that I'm using has a manufactured barcode, so I do not need one of these labels. After you guys print out the SKU label, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start to put them on the product. Remember that I'm not putting any of these labels that I printed out onto these, uh, the, makeup, the makeup pencils. It's gonna be all on these sponges, which I'm doing now. So after you're done putting labels on the on the products that need labeling, um, you have to find a box that you're gonna put everything in. I have a box here that's gonna fit all these products. So for Amazon FBA, if you are getting a small parcel delivery, the boxes um, cannot weigh more than 50 pounds. So they have to be under 50 pounds, which is why you need a scale. And also for future reference, the boxes that you send out as a small parcel delivery cannot be more than 25 inches um, in length on one side. Usually what I like to do is I have a lot of packing paper um, that's on, on standby. So I separate them. So for example, I put the makeup sponges in um, and after that, I'm putting all these these 10 units of makeup pencils that, I, that I, uh, I'm gonna ship out. It's all gonna be in here. After you put everything in there, that's gonna be all the units, right? I'm sending out 20 units of each. You're gonna wanna put packing paper. You're gonna tape it. And you're gonna to have to measure each side because when you wanna ship out the product, you Amazon asks you how long um, the size of the box is. So this is gonna be a 10 by five by eight, 10 by five by eight inches. Um, and then you're gonna, they're gonna also ask for weight. So this weighs one pound. 
Now I can move on to the next step, which is the shipping plan. So after you have all the inventory packed and prepped into a box, now you can go to the next step, which is after you click pack individual units. So as you can see on the screen here, um, they're gonna ask you from all the inventory that you're about to ship, um, is everything gonna be fit into one box or will multiple boxes be needed? And as you guys just saw previously, everything is gonna be fitting in one box. So, um, so the box dimensions were 10 by five by eight inches. Um, and the box weight was one pound. So I'm gonna confirm packing information um, after you put all the information into the, the website. Just click confirm and continue. So when you get to this page, it's gonna ask for um, to confirm your shipping. So you, you can pick basically what date um, you are expecting to ship that product out. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna click for today. Now a small parcel delivery, as you can see, there's two shipping modes. It's either a small parcel delivery or a truckload. Now the LTL, as we call it, for the truckload delivery, it's gonna be uh, only for big pallets. Now we're not sending out a big pallet, this is just a small box. If you are planning to scale your FBA store and have a lot of inventory, it might make more sense to do an LTL label. So after you're done with that, you're gonna move to the, the next step, which is to select your shipping carrier. This is either UPS, which is UPS is a big partner of Amazon. Uh, usually I recommend to go with UPS, it's a lot easier. Amazon is connected with them. Um, usually the prices are a lot cheaper. And then I'm gonna click accept charges and confirm shipping. Okay, so after you accept the charges and you confirm the shipping, you're able to go to step three, where you can print the box labels, where after you print the box labels, you can put it onto the inventory and get it ready to go. So when you get to this page, which is to print the box labels, you have to make sure all the information shown here is correct and after that uh, like I mentioned we do thermal printing you're gonna get two shipping labels one of them is for FBA as you can see on the screen share here and that one is gonna be for Amazon to scan once they receive it and the other label is gonna be a UPS label so that's the label that UPS is gonna scan to receive the product when you give it to them so like I mentioned there you're gonna get two labels one of them is gonna say FBA one of them is gonna be for UPS I usually just put the label on the box anywhere you can make sure it's not covered I just put it kind of like this, boom. And there you go, your package is ready to go. You have an FBA label on there, you have a UPS label. Pretty much what I do now is I go to a UPS store and I drop it off. Or if you don't wanna leave your house or your office and you have a lot of boxes, you can schedule a pickup through UPS in which they come to you. Of course, there's an added fee for that, which they come to you and, and they pick up everything for you. But uh, if it's just a small package like this, you know, if you're on the way, you can just drop it off. Um, there's no other charges since you already paid for that UPS shipping label. As I mentioned, there is an option for you to schedule a UPS pickup. Um, you can click on the Amazon account, you can click view tracking details in which you will get a tracking ID number. What you're gonna have to do is gonna go to ups.com, you're gonna click on shipping, and click schedule a pickup. This page here is basically asking you, do you have a pre-printed UPS shipping label? In this case you do, just because you got it from Amazon, and you can enter that tracking number, which, Amazon, which you got from the um, Amazon account. So let me copy and paste it here, okay. All right, so pick up information and location. You can, you know, uh, your UPS account number. Um, if you have one, you can put your company name, contact name, your address, you know, all the information about where the, where the pickup is gonna take place. Um, click residential address if you are doing it from your home. So here you can click, uh, you can click how many packages are gonna be in the pickup. So in this case, I only have one. Does your items that weigh more than 70 pounds? No, because this is a very small box. You, then you, here you can schedule a pickup time. So this is you know your pickup date, the window in which you want UPS to come pick up your item. Pretty standard stuff. That's basically guys how you how you schedule that UPS pickup. After you're done with filling out all the information, you click next, and after that you're gonna go to a page in which you confirm shipment. And that's it, guys. So that's how I package and prep my products that are ready to send to FBA. Once that warehouse receives your product, they're gonna open up and they're gonna cross reference basically how many units you put into the work order paired to what they actually receive. And then after that, it's gonna be Come available for purchase and that's when your products are going to start to make sales and profits for your store all right that's it for this video guys thank you guys for watching all the way through comment down below any questions you might have about this whole process make sure to like and comment on this video and subscribe for more content in the future about how you can successfully grow your own amazon fba store